Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Emma Rillis, and in today's video, I'm going to give my thoughts on some new cookware that I purchased, the Caraway, I believe that's how you pronounce it, um, cooking set that I purchased. I'm not gonna lie, it was quite pricey. However, when I've been looking at like other reviews and um, videos, I learned that, you know, the old pots and pans that I was that I was using were no bueno and I could tell because it was already peeling and that's like horrible toxic for you so I really wanted to get non-stick non-toxic pots and pans and I also got better utensils so that I don't scratch it and all of that so I kind of just want to show you the pieces that I bought that came in the huge um, box which I threw, I threw out at this point um, I'll insert some clips from Instagram so you can see when I was like unboxing it um, and I wanted to kind of use it already before I did this video so I can tell you like my true thoughts on everything so let's start with the first thing is showing you the pots and pans that come in the set and then you know the other items so first the pots and the pans so in no particular order, I'm going to just show you the pots and pans that I got. So the first one is this deep um, pan. And I guess this is more like if you're going to saute um, or make larger dinners, I think that this is a really great pot for that. Um, and I've been using this bad boy nonstop. And I'm going to show you a clip of me actually cooking a meal in it yesterday. And then me cleaning the pan as well. One thing to note when cleaning these pans um, is you use the soft sponge part and not the scratchy part. And um, you wanna use like, you know, warm water and it comes off really easily with soap and water. Um, there's going to come in the kit a little pamphlet, a little booklet. I've kept mine because I think it's important just to like remind myself of certain things but basically you want to make sure that you are using like wooden or plastic rubbery um, utensils cooking utensils because anything metal will scratch the non-stick and that will ruin your pans pots and pans you don't want to cut any items in your pots and pans so like for instance if you're cutting if you're cooking a piece of um, steak which I don't I don't eat steak but if you were to cook steak and sometimes I know people cut that within the pan you don't want to do that take your steak out cut it on a cutting board because any cuts will also ruin the non-stick and these are too expensive to be messing around um, and then something else to know I didn't know this and I think it's important to know um, so you could use this tip these tips on other pans that you have. Um, when it comes to the bottom, when you wash it or if you rinse it before you use the pots and pans, you wanna make sure you dry off this bottom part. Apparently that's no bueno when it's wet and you put it on the burner. Um, it can ruin the um, metal piece back here. I forgot what this is called. Um, so just something to know. So those are the tips that I have that I wanted to share with you. Um, the next pan is this smaller pan and this one is good for breakfast making like some scrambled eggs an omelet um, Or just like smaller items. So it comes with a smaller pan. It also comes with two pots. So this um, I would call this like a sauce pot um, you can make your beans your um, I don't know whatever smaller items. So for instance um, I signed up for HelloFresh and one of the um, recipes, actually I, I cooked that yesterday so you'll see a clip of this as well. Um, I cooked a little bit of jasmine rice and so I actually cooked it in this pot um, because I didn't need like a bigger pot, it was only a small amount of rice for two people so uh, and for one serving. Um, so yeah, I used this, this pot and then it also comes with a larger pot. Um, this is called a Dutch oven. Right? I believe that's the correct term. Um, so it comes with this larger one. So if you're doing like a larger like pasta dish or something, you know, this is the, the bad boy for you. Another thing that it comes with is the inserts for you to store your pots and pans. So I basically had to change up where I'm storing them because where I had my old pots and pans, 
um, they were just kind of stacked on top of each other and this system doesn't fit where I had it so I had to move it into my pantry and I'll show you a clip of that and this is magnetic within inside um, well actually on both sides because they all connect to each other magnetically and the pots and pans stay magnetically as well so I really like that I don't have any fear that they're gonna fall or anything like that how they're displayed and then it also comes with a burlap um, material that you basically place on like a door of your, you know, your pantry or wherever you're going to store the lids which I love because I hate when lids are like it's so hard to store lids unless you have something proper to store it in and I never did so this is really helpful I have it on my pantry door and I left it like the sticky part for 48 hours with nothing inside because the um, actual lids are pretty heavy um, and wow they're not joking with that stickiness it is staying there I check it once in a while to like see not budging um, so they also give you a tip when you need to remove it how to remove it so that's why I also kept the pamphlet um, it also came with I believe the how you pronounce this trivets um, and I'll show you guys that as well these are the trivets that they came with. I thought this was nice. I wasn't even expecting this, to be honest. And when I opened up the package and I saw that it came with these, I was like, oh, wow, that's really cool. Because um, I do like to host dinners, even though quarantine, I'm not doing that. However, I think in the future for maybe, I don't know, December when I have like my close family over, which that's typically who... I host um, you know for some of the hot dishes that you want people to kind of serve themselves um, you can put these down and have your pan or your pot on top of this so I thought that was a really nice bonus and then I wanted to just chat about what utensils I purchased I purchased a really large pack I think it was like $35 for so many but I'm only going to show you a few of the cooking utensils I bought it off of Amazon they're wooden utensils and I think it's cute and goes with the aesthetic of like my kitchen. Um, so it's these wooden utensils here. Um, got multiple um, spatulas in different kind of form. Um, this is like a soup spoon but a bunch of uh, spatulas and spoons. This one's like, you know, pasta and then a whisk and this is actual like rubber. Um, so yeah, just make sure if you don't have anything like this, you should purchase that as well, separate. Um, I'm not sure if they actually have it on their website, I didn't even look. It was, it, I was like, $500 is enough, okay? Um, so yeah, I hope that you guys found this helpful. Um, and yeah, I just want to say that I actually do really enjoy my pots and pans that I purchased. Um, I went with the gray color I wanted. I was in between gray and white. Or the cream color but for some reason cream pots and pans remind me of like a grandma like my grandma or something I don't know so I went with the gray instead all my serving wear and stuff is all white so I think that's fine and the gray is really cute and it goes you know for feminine and, and masculine and yeah I overall enjoy the pots and pans I give it a two thumbs up. I haven't had any issues. Um, they are quite heavy, so I, I'm learning to use two hands to pick them up and, and wash them and stuff. But besides that, I love it. I think they're going to last me a very long time, which is what I needed. And especially during this time when I'm cooking every meal at home, it's so important to have really great quality pots and pans. So if you're interested, you should check them out. Again, they're a little pricey, but definitely worth it because you, you could tell these are going to last me years. And again, definitely pick up some utensils. Um, I hope that you guys found this helpful. And if you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.